so fun you don't want it to end you know it's like 30 minutes ain't enough so I spend 15 minutes just trying to organize myself and the other 15 minutes you know slowly figuring this out and I finally get on a roll and then it's like boom time's up so <laughs> if anybody's listening we need like an hour this week this was that would be cool but I know a lot of people would complain um, about that a lot of multipliers that I couldn't catch in this one just because I don't have a very good signal. I wonder if I turn my power up. Nope, still on 60 watts. <laughs> that could be why, but uh, I heard KM9R for the first time in a long time, and I just couldn't break through to get him. I thought that was pretty cool because he's kind of my mentor, you know, into this. So, um, you know, 27 is not bad. It's not, some of these guys are SO2R, which makes it so much easier. Uh, you know, they're getting double that score. But hey, I'm happy with 27. I, I should have had 20, well, probably 27 because I missed a guy up here. Um, let's see. Maybe I thought it was Lair and it was somebody else or something like that. So, and then, um, I missed another guy and I had the F12 and you know just not log it you know it's kind of an honor system but in tradition you don't want to log somebody if you didn't catch you know make sure to catch their <laughs> their call or number so I think what happened is I got confused on the F keys because they're a lot different uh, for this particular kind of sprint so like F4 is the call and F5 is their call and, and to send it back to them is F2 it, it seems like it's a little different um, I was gonna post this up here in case you guys want to steal this I may have done this last week I don't know but 
if you want to change your F keys, uh, run this exactly as you see it here. Um, right here you can put thank you instead of two E's, but two E's is just quick and says thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, change this run sequence and then change this uh, search and pound sequence. And I think I, I don't know if I showed this again, but always make sure you're on North American Sprint, and um, you know make sure it's, it shows zero zero one, your first name or whatever you go by, and then your state. Then you want to go to Associated Files and always change this. You want to update it, and then hit OK once you do that that's when you want to come in here and change these that way it doesn't change them for other contests or CWTs or something like that um, just come in here and change these these are all fairly easy <laughs> but the like the F keys are a lot different than uh, than like CWTs or contesting is um, I'm trying to think I can't remember off the top of my head if I need to send back to somebody the entire exchange. Um, maybe it is F2 on CWTs. But anyway, uh, yeah, change these up. Let's see, I was going to show what I had running here. Um, so you don't need all this stuff. You definitely don't need the malts and cues over here for just basic. Um, you know, CWTs and contesting. Um, I was trying to find ESM because enter sends message right here. Make sure this is check marked. That way you can just hit the enter key once you enter their call sign and it'll uh, bring it up. Uh, that way you don't have to keep hitting like F5 and then F2 and then enter then, you know what I mean? It just makes it a little easier. Um, you can kind of see what else I have here. And they will call history lookup. And I think on Windows, the only one that I would recommend is band map for sure. Check, which is um, super check partial. Um, I don't think I have entry window. I don't have gray line. I do keep the log up. And then like different contests you can make this over here available. So I think I've got this one set to like grid squares or something like that. <laughs> or, or sections. Um, different contests these come in handy. I uh, don't run network status. I do run the uh, the telnet up here, and what I do is you can. So right now I'm on W4MYA, and that's because it's closer to me, and it's a very good cluster. Um, but like if you're a little further out west, you might want to use NG7Ms. Uh, spot and you can find it here. Let's say you want to look at North America only um, finding the the correct uh, Cluster very important because you don't want to like ve7 cc. That's a well-known You're not going to get a whole bunch of busted calls <laughs> some of these skimmers though that That posts for RBN that ends up popping up over here on this band map or they'll be completely wrong and you'll have to, and it just causes more frustration than uh, than help so I would stick to VE7 CC or or W4 MYA if you're on the East Coast um, always 7373 for port and then you can connect and you can leave that running in the background if you want like I always just kind of leave it back there and I have my log here but I move it so you can just you know you can move these up or down make them fit better or worse and a lot of people I think by default run the the log this far but I just go ahead and push it up and that way the uh, 
the check log is right here because I mean you may be unsure of a call you hear um, KV something I sorry and I'm, I'm not sure if that's correct like KV 8 I and maybe I didn't hear the end of his uh, the number and then this up here kind of gives you like ideas of probably who it is and I know that in the past I've worked uh, a bill KV 0 I so it's probably probably bill and a lot of times you know they'll send it twice you know so um, if but it, it's just there to help so you uh, let's see let me try to think of another good one W3MU maybe MUV or KC3 okay so like KC3KO and I didn't catch the end chances are it's going to be P um, because I've worked him before but anyway this I mean just stuff that kind of helps people uh, along the way um, N5 RZ is a common one, uh, and so is N5 ZO. <laughs> so, um, but you know, if if you've worked them before, I guess what I'm trying to say is they'll light up up here. Like you'll see them across all four, and um, you see how it's in blue right here. So I've worked them already. So it it's like high probability that's who it is. Um, so this is a call November uh, nope that's not it it's NJ8V because I always think it's NJ7V actually working the contest but it um, turns out to be this guy um, Very it sounds very similar at high speeds but uh, you want to make sure. See, I've worked him a ton. I don't know if I've worked Charlie in a long time. No, does it look like it? He's not super active in contests. But anyway, um, said all that. I guess just to help uh, if anybody, you know. Let's see, so I run the telnet. Um, you don't have to run all this over here at all. I'm just turning into a rate junkie so I like watching the rate <laughs> sometime and I and I most of the time I forget so that's not a big deal to have up there um, I mean it does have the uh, solar flux and stuff like that so sometimes I'll check that here or I'll see it over in the telnet window it'll come through as like pink or something like that um, I right clicked here. I just want to make sure all this is correct. Um, and then view. So max rate, so that's what this is up here. You can, I mean, you can have like 35 windows open within 1mm. It's such a, a good program for free. But, um, so like, I don't know how how long did I spend in a contest you know and, and you just go to your off times I mean if it's longer than 30 minutes you know you <laughs> you just go to view and uh, off times and it'll show you times on and times off and that way you know what to put into 3830 scores so anyway yeah I hope that helped somebody uh, just kind of my, my brain just went down another road so anyway that's hope that helps some some of you guys that are trying to figure out in one mm it's extremely easy um, enter send message I'm a huge fan of it because you just um, you just hit a call and you don't even have to hit spacebar I mean you just hit enter <laughs> you know it's uh, let's see F12 out of that so like I'm hearing this guy right here and
and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and so it just sends my whole exchange and you know it's the same if you're running you know if you if you're on CWTs and you're running and you hear a call you just hit enter and only time you'll have to hit enter again is just to say thank you and uh, move on to the next caller <laughs> but anyway uh, I'll catch you guys uh, this weekend I guess